Hey everyone, my name is Frank Panuto, and I'm one of the senior regional directors here at EXP. Um, and I'm coming to you today to talk about EXP Explain. There's so many misconceptions out there. There's so many questions that we get on a daily basis that we thought we'd come to you live today to talk about exactly what our model is. Let's answer all your questions. And while we're talking about that, uh, we are live in studio today. So if you just have any questions for us, if you put it in the little chat box there, then I will certainly get to it. Uh, and answer your questions while we're on this seminar today. Uh, so I'm going to take the first maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes to talk about our model. And then at the end of it, I'll answer all your questions for you today so that you can leave here and have all the answers that you need. So thank you very much for joining us. And, you know, who are we? You know, what is EXP? We get these questions all the time. I don't really understand that you guys are a virtual model. What does that mean? So let's kind of go back to the beginning and start very, very quickly. Just give a little background. So the company was founded in 2009 by Glenn Sanford. And, you know, one of the, mis the words that's probably misused the most that I hear all the time and from a leadership perspective is agent centric. You know, oh, this company is agent centric. That company is agent centric. Well, I think it's overused, uh, but I can prove to you today by the end of this that we are the most agent centric company out there in the industry. And I can back that up. Uh, first of all, to understand where Glenn came from. So Glenn was a very high producing agent. Uh, so everything that, that he does and everything um, with his vision is how does that help the agent? He's coming from an agent's perspective. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be in weekly meetings with him. And he says it all the time. I'll say, well, let me put my agent hat on for a second. Or, or if we do this, how does that benefit the agent? So I can tell you um, from being very up close and personal that the agent success and the agent experience is the number one priority uh, of our founder. Uh, and is this culture and this this philosophy is why I can tell you that we are the most Asian centric model out there in the industry. So uh, and the other thing to prove is our numbers. We have over 88,000 agents now. We're over 88,000 strong. It's just that short period of time. We're the fastest growing real estate company in the industry. It's unbelievable how fast it uh, we grew. I mean, it doesn't make sense. The companies take 10, 15, 20, 30 years, 40 years to even get to half of that if they're lucky. Uh, so to be 88,000 strong and still going up in this direction, uh, we feel very fortunate and very proud to be a part of this movement. And one of the other things I want to make sure I clear up for people is that we are not a franchise. And that's huge. Uh, it's really big because I think it contributes to our culture, who we are, the kinds of people that we have and how we operate our business. Um, you know, it's one message. And we all become shareholders in this company. And that's something we're going to expand upon a little bit further down in the presentation. But, you know, the fact that we are all partners in this and that when one person wins, we all win really adds to the culture and who we are and uh, just how things are run. So always keep that in the back of your mind. Um, we are all in this thing together. And again, when we get into collaboration, these kinds of things, you're going to understand what I'm talking about. So you guys are cloud based. I don't really understand what that means. Uh, and how does that benefit me? So cloud-based, what, what, what does it mean? First of all, um, we don't have physical brick and mortar offices. We don't feel we need them. Uh, we think that's, a, that's a, a model of the old ways of doing things. Because with that, think about it, you have a lot of overhead. You have leases, desk fees, you have all this stuff that you have to do, um, admin services, um, products, paper, machines. So we don't have any of all that uh, and we don't need it. And because of that, we don't have desk fees. And because of that, um, you're able to work from anywhere in the world that you want and have instant access to our entire platform. So the ease and efficiency of it is much greater than those of a physical office. And think about this. Because we don't have all that high overhead and all that, all that high cost, we can take that money that's allocated generally for that stuff and put it back into supporting the agents, technology, and then what we call revenue share. Um, so it's important for you to understand, and I'm going to say this a couple of times during this presentation, that 50% of every dollar that comes into this company is given back to the agents in a form of revenue share because we are all owners. We're going to get back to that. It's a very important piece of this puzzle. So that's a little bit about who we are. Um, you know, we live in a microwave society. So the nice thing about being cloud-based is that you have instant access to all our stuff. And you have it right there at your fingertips. And that makes it much, much better for our agents. Uh, the feedback we get is, is, has always been incredible. Um, so when you're talking about instant access to our platform, you're also talking about instant access to training and support, which are a couple of things that kind of go together, right? And everybody's always asking about 
What kind of training do you have? What kind of support do you have? Well, the training is awesome. We have a thing called EXP University, which is part of our virtual world. And with that, there are over 80 plus live trainings every single week that you could just plug into. And these trainings are phenomenal. They're taught by industry leaders, the agents who are out there, top producing agents that are actually doing the work in today's shifting markets. So it's not people that have not sold a house in the last three or five years are just trying to you know, give you their wisdom. These are people who are actually out there doing it and doing the work. And they get their playbook and they say, hey, this is how I'm doing it. Hey, you know, this worked for me. Maybe this will work for you. And the one thing I've learned in my 28 years of real estate is that you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You really don't. Uh, all you have to do is follow a path to success that's already been made for you. So just get on the path. And what happens here is those people share all that information with you. So that, that gets back to that collaborate, collaboration theme uh, that we were talking about before. So um, the other good things about the trainings are um, we have everything from A to Z. So it doesn't matter if you're a brand new agent just getting into it or you're somebody who's been in it for a very long time and you're at the top of the totem pole. You know, think about this. Think about traditional brokerages and you're the number one agent in the office. Who's your peer group? Who's going to help you get to that next level? Who can you bounce ideas and strategies off of? We have that here. We have people here, teams, individuals doing over a billion dollars worth of business a year with a B. Um, it's unbelievable. And these are the same people that say, hey, this is how I did it. Um, so it's pretty awesome. So EXP University, uh, we have a mentorship program. So if you're a brand new agent just getting in the industry, you're going to be assigned a mentor to help you guide uh, guide you as you're going through and building your business. Or maybe you're just a lower producing agent who needs that help and you need somebody to help you and help push you. We have that for you in our mentorship program. Masterminds. We have weekly masterminds that go on. And again, doesn't matter what level you're in. We have groups of people to support each level of business that you are at currently and where you're trying to go. So think about you are in meetings every single week with uh, uh, high producing agents, with the leadership team. Um, and these are regular masterminds and task force that get together and collaborate every single week on best practices, on where we think we, we see the, the, uh, the industry going and then how to best attack that. So these are weekly things to help you. Uh, again, it's funny because even though we're virtual and we don't have that physical office, I talk to more people on a weekly basis than I ever did when I was in a brick and mortar structure. So uh, having access to these people is pretty incredible. The other thing we wanted to talk about was support. So let's talk about broker support. Another one of the misconceptions out there is that, uh, well, you guys aren't real people. Uh, every state has live brokers. And depending on the size of the state, we'll tell you how many brokers that they have. So our state uh, brokers are awesome, and they provide you with the support and guidance that you need to get you through a transaction. Um, they have weekly state meetings. So if there's changes, like in my, I'm in the state of Delaware, uh, we just had a change to our seller's disclosure. So we just had a meeting about it. Um, so anything that's changing the laws or, or contracts or anything that you need to know to make sure that you're up to speed um, on everything that you need uh, to be successful in your state, you have a state broker, and they're available to you at that world. So we talked about that. EXP world. Um, they have office hours in there. So your access to them. Uh, I know that I'm in there on a weekly basis. And I don't think I've ever waited more than a minute to two minutes to get a broker on the phone uh, if there's a question or an answer uh, or an issue. So understand you have full access to people. That's their number one job. It's the only thing you have to do is to focus on the transactions and focus on uh, giving you the guidance that you need. In a traditional standard office, uh, they may be tasked with education, <clears throat> recruiting, training, um, dealing with deal doctoring, right? Putting out all the fires. So they're wearing four, five, six different hats. We're here to only wearing that one hat. So they're here to support you. And that is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so after training and support, what else do people always ask about? Lead gen. Hey, Frank, if I come to EXP, what kind of lead generation do you have? And what kind of systems do you have in place uh, to help me get from here to here? Right. Because there's always four questions that we ask people. We say, where are you now? Where are you trying to go? What vehicle are you going to take to get there? What tools and systems do you have? And then who's going to help you do that? So we answer all those questions. We check all those boxes. So when it comes to lead generation, uh, our major platform is KV Core. KV Core is phenomenal. If you plug in and use it properly, it's a great lead generating system. And it's basically two parts to it. The front part of it is going to be your agent website. Uh, which is a lead generating uh, tool for you. And then the back side of it is the CRM system that we use. 
So there's squeeze pages, drip campaigns, all these different features to KV, to KV Core that will help you go get leads and help you lead generate. And it's funny because um, for you as an individual agent or some companies that you may have to pay four or $500 a month for KV Core. We have one monthly fee, it's $85. Uh, that is our fee to get you on our entire platform. So the KV Core is included in that. Um, very small nominal fee uh, for what you're getting. Uh, so other things that we have for lead gen, we have what's called our Revenos platform. And Reven, what is that? I'm glad you asked. So the Revenos platform, uh, the company goes out and gets qualified buyers and sellers and, and gives them to people um, for referrals, um, for um, uh, relocation deals, for REO business. Uh, we have other things such as express offers. We have make it rain. So there's all these different lead generation um, features on the Revenus platform that's available to everybody. Our listing and marketing platform is incredible. There's over 5,000 uh, templates for you to choose from. They're customizable to you. Uh, one of the other great things about this business is it's your brand. You built it. You built the brand. You keep the brand. You're just going to put it on our platform now. So as you're doing this, you need marketing help and support. We have that. And that marketing will also help you with your lead generation. So, um, you know, there's everything in there, too, from um, in our EXP University, getting back to that. We have everything that's live and everything that we do live is also recorded. So there's thousands and thousands of uh, training videos in there for you, uh, recordings that you may need. So whether it's you need help with social media, you're not real good with that. How do I work on social media? Um, business planning, maybe I need that. Maybe you're an individual agent and you want to try to form a team or vice versa. You know, how do I make that transition and, and how do I convert all this stuff? So there's trainings, like I said, A to Z and everything that you're going to need to be successful. So we talked about training support. We talked about lead generation. Let's talk about a uh, compensation package. So we like to call it that because it's not just one revenue stream. Most people that come up to you and say, Frank, uh, tell me about your commission splits. And I just say, whoa, pump the brakes for a second. Uh, we're much more than just commission splits. We have a compensation package. We have multiple revenue streams that come in through this company, multiple revenue opportunities for you to earn money through this company. So one piece of that is the commission split. So let's talk about it. I kind of wrote it back here, if you can see it or not. Uh, but we have an 80-20 split. Uh, we have a $16,000 cap. All right. So there is a transaction fee with every transaction. There's a sixty five dollar fee. And that is forty dollars of that is your e &O insurance. And that caps at five hundred dollars. And there's a twenty dollar um, broker review fee. So that never goes away. They want to make sure that everything's in compliance, and that everything's good. Uh, so those are your only fees associated with the 80 20 split. Now, once you once you cap, you make you hit that sixteen thousand dollar cap. You then go to a hundred a hundred percent. Um, for the rest of your anniversary year. So capping $16,000, I think average across the country, maybe that's seven or eight transactions, you know, but given whatever your current um, average sales price is, but I think it's right around $400,000 nationally, somewhere in that range. So that's about seven or eight transactions. So, um, you know, if you're going to do that and however many months it takes you to do that, you can get to hundred percent. You got the rest of your anniversary year at hundred percent, which is awesome. At that point, uh, when you go to 100%, that transaction fee increases to $250 per transaction. That $250 caps at $5,000. So that's basically an additional 20 transactions. So if you're somebody who does 28, 27, 28, 30 transactions and more, this is absolutely the perfect model for you. And I'm going to tell you why. I just told you about one piece of that compensation package. That was the commission split. Now let's talk about another piece. So another way to get some money back um, is through our ICON program. So what's an ICON? So like I said before, once you go to 100% and you do an additional 20 transactions, you become an ICON, reach ICON status. So that $16,000 that you just earned or that you just paid in your cap, you can get back in the form of stocks. It's a company awarded stock. They give it back to you. There's a couple of things that you have to do. One is you have to attend our EXP con, um, which is something we want you to do, obviously. And the other part of it is you're going to be teaching. We talked about there's 80 plus live trainings and they're done by the high producing agents. Well, if you're an icon, you're a high producing agent. So we'd like you to share with us. Uh, and just for doing that, you've now got your $16,000 back in the form of stock. So now you have to ask yourself, how much did it really cost me to be at EXP? 
I paid him the $16,000 cap. I got it back in the form of stock. It's incredible, right? So we're talking about an exit strategy. Now, let's get back to some more of the different ways and the different um, ways of making money, income stream. So we talked about commission. There's company awarded stock. One is through the ICON program. The other part is this. Uh, when you do certain production and reach certain production goals, the company just say, hey, thank you very much. Here's some money back for you in a form of stock. Every year that you reset and you do your, fan, your first transaction every year, you get a $200 stock award. Phenomenal. You're, you're getting stocks for doing what you're just for what you're doing anyway. You didn't do anything different. You didn't have to pay for it. It was given back to you. Um, you also get an additional $400 worth of stock every time you cap. So if you're somebody who's doing you know, those seven, eight transactions every year, you're going to get $600 worth of stock between those two. You're going to get $600 worth of stock every single year just given to you. Now, I've got people come to me and say, you know what, but I'm not really into stocks. It's not my thing. I don't even care about it. I don't worry about it. That's great. Remember, you didn't pay for this, but I bet you three years, five years, 10 years down the road, when you're accruing all this stock and the value keeps going up, um, I think you're going to care about it then. Because remember, you didn't have to pay for that. It was just given to you. So this is kind of like a 401k plan, if you will. You know, it's one piece of a retirement fund for you. It's one piece of an exit strategy for you. Um, so you have company awarded stocks. Oh, there's one more piece. When you get into... Um, helping a company grow. And we're going to talk about revenue sharing just a little bit. But say you were to sponsor somebody, when they do their first transaction, you get an additional $200 worth of stock. So it's incredible. It's just stuff they're giving to you for what you're doing anyway. So you've got your commissions, you have company awarded stocks, and then there's stocks that you can actually purchase. This is completely voluntary. You do not have to do it. But you can take 5% of every commission that you earn and buy EXPI stock at a 10% discount. So you just made 10% on your money the day that you purchased it. Think about that, especially in today's world with inflation and where the stock market is. If someone can tell you, hey, listen, you invest X amount of dollars, you'll get a 10% return by the end of the year or maybe into next year. You'd be, okay, I'm cool with that. But what happens when you get 10% return the day that you bought it? Uh, I would think anybody would tell you that's a pretty good investment. So again, completely voluntary. You don't have to do it. But if you're somebody that's working in a franchise model, and you're used to paying a 5%, 6% off the top fee back to the franchise, why not just pay yourself? You're the one getting the money. You're the one who's going to benefit from it now. So you've got that very great commission split. You have the great uh, stock awards that the company gives you. You have this great opportunity to buy stock at, at, a, um, at a discounted price. And there's a the last piece of it that we call revenue share. So Let's clear up the misconception on revenue share as well. So A, it's not something that you have to do. B, it's completely optional. Uh, if you want to participate in it, great. If you don't, you don't have to. It's okay. I mean, first and foremost, we're a production company. We sell a lot of real estate. That is our primary focus, okay? But let's talk about revenue share. Every single one of us has been recruited to the company that we're currently working at, unless you started the company yourself. Think about it. You were in real estate school. Somebody spoke to you and said, hey, come to our company. Where you were in a company and one of your friends or somebody you, you really, you know, his opinion you would value said, hey, you really should come check out this company. We love it over here. Come on over, look at it. You were recruited. Everybody was recruited. That's real estate. That's, that's how that works. But how many times have you reached out to one of your friends and said, hey, man, come work at this company with me? And they come. And that person's a really good producer. And all that money, all that company dollar they're making goes where? It goes to the owner. Nothing came back to you. That's not cool. Uh, so part of the, the best part of this model is, you know, we all become owners in the company. So we talk about that company awarded stock. Remember that you're now a stockholder. When you're a stockholder, you're now an owner. You now participate in revenue and revenue earnings, which is awesome. So the more you buy, the more you earn, which is cool. So as you help the company grow, you get rewarded for that. It's just that simple. And that goes seven levels deep. But let me get back to what I was saying a second ago, is that there's a big difference between profit share models, which are out there, and revenue share model. Profit share model is this. So it doesn't matter what your production is. Um, this, if the office that you're working at or the market center that you're working in right now has to be profitable that month in order for you to get paid. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You know, it depends on what's going on. Right now, the market's down a little bit. I don't know how many offices are being as profitable as we are. Uh, we're not worried about that. That's not our structure. So you were still kind of at the mercy of how's the market doing? 
How's our office doing? Do we have good producing agents in here that that makes the numbers work? That's not our model. Our model is very simple. If you bring somebody in and they sell a house, you get paid. It's that simple. And you're getting paid off the company dollar, not from the agent. That's really important for you to understand. This comes out of that 20%. As I said a few minutes ago, 50% of the total revenue that comes in this company is given back to the agents in the form of revenue share. Last year, that number reached $240 million. $240 million was given back to the agents in the form of revenue share uh, so they can participate and enjoy what we're doing here. So think about it this way. Um, say you're a team. Okay, this is why people always say, why are teams and brokers just coming over so often, so fast, and these huge numbers? And this, these are, this is the not reason. I'm a team leader, and I've got 10 people on my team. Well, one of my buyer agents or one of my listing agents sits at the table at a settlement table, I'm getting paid twice. I'm getting paid on the split that I have with my teammate. I'm getting paid from the company dollar because they sold a house. And that, that happens all the way up until, where, until they cap. I'm going to show you an example here in just a second. So once a person caps, then there's no more company dollar. Therefore, we don't participate in that rev share. However, if, even if the person doesn't cap, you're going to get paid. And you're going to get paid the following month. So every month, you're getting a revenue check given to you from the production of the people that you brought in. Now, do they have to be on your team? Absolutely not. I just talked to you about a team structure. What if you're an individual agent? You say, you know what? I don't want to be a team. I am not interested in the team thing. That's great. That doesn't matter. If you're still having people come in, you're sponsoring people to come to the company, you get paid just like everybody else. So whether you uh, are mentoring a person, whether they're on your team, they're not, maybe you don't know them, they're in a different state. Um, as they're being productive, you're getting paid. Guys, I mean, come on. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is unbelievable. I just gave you four different revenue streams, four different ways to make money. Let me show you this revenue stream thing one more time. This rev share, just so you understand, to give you an example of how this number is real. This is passive income. Uh, a lot of people in real estate, uh, you know, we, we invest in properties, right? We go buy a property, a, a rental unit or a duplex or something, and we're using that as passive income to build wealth, to build financial freedom. Let me show you something real quick. So here's an example of revenue share. Remember, this goes seven tiers deep. Seven. It's incredible. I'm going to give you a two-tier example that is uh, that was given, um, and you'll see it on Brent Gove. If you've ever watched Brent Gove's video, uh, he used the same one. I actually took it from him. Thank you, Brent. Um, so revenue share. And this is a, a, an example of over five years. And this says 10 people. Now, there's no time limit to when you do this and how fast you do it or how little you do it. We have people bringing in two, three, four people a month all year. Um, and obviously, it grows much faster. But this example, which is very easy, is me, Frank, tier one. Let's say I bring in two people a year for the next five years. Two people that cap. Two people will do at least seven transactions, okay? Um, that's only 10 people in five years. What does that look like? Well, tier one, you get paid $2,800. That's the max that you can get. That's a capping agent. If they don't cap, it'd be less than that. It's okay, you're still getting paid. But if they cap, it would be, uh, the, the max you can get off of them is $2,800 for their work. Well, if I have 10 people of that cap, that's $28,000 a year in passive income. $28,000 a year. You didn't have to do anything for that. That's unbelievable. What's that look like in five years? Well, 28,000 times five is $140,000. What if that's 10 years? That's $280,000 that you have accumulated in passive income. I mean, we're talking about a 401k plan there. Let's go one more step. I said there are seven tiers. Let's go to the second tier. What if those same people, the 10 people that you brought in, followed the same model that you followed? Each one of those 10 people also brought in two people every year for the next five years. That would be 100 people. Okay? So if 100 people are on your tier two, tier two maxes out at 3,200 per agent. Well, 3,200 times 100 is $320,000 a year in passive income. You still add that to your first level tier. That's $348,000 a year in passive income. Plus, you still get stocks. There's still stock rewards that go along with that. We get $348,000 a year for doing what you're doing anyway because you told somebody that you really like, hey, why don't you come to EXP? Because you had a different mindset. You're like, I'm going to grow my business across the country. Now you're making passive income. This is all company dollar. Well, 
What does that $320,000 look like after five years? It's $1.6 million. 10 years, $3.2 million. If you add the two together, it's $348,000 per year we talked about. Well, 348 times five is $1.74 million. If you were to take out over 10 years, $3.48 million of residual income. And we have a lot of agents doing that. So this isn't a sales pitch thing. This isn't a, hey, it's all rainbows and cotton candy. What I'm telling you is it's an opportunity. There's an opportunity for you to build wealth at a high level. Uh, it's incredible. So uh, that was kind of an overview of our model and how we do things. Um, I just kind of want to give you a little bit of a summary, and then we're going to get to your questions in just a minute. But you know, what does this all mean for you? What does it mean? It means grow. This is a place and an environment uh, where you can grow personally, where you can grow professionally. There are no limits to how far you take this thing. Um, and I'll give you an example. I'm, like I said before, I'm in little old Delaware, small state, one of these small state and the small state, all right, where we are very, um, it's a very small community. I have business partners now in India. I'm in six states. I've only been here a year. I'm in six states and I have partners in India who are going to expand to the UK. It's incredible. I mean, I never thought that was going to be possible, but it's it's happening. And this is why I came here, which this is awesome. So you have the opportunity for growth, uh, opportunity to own. Like I said, you own your brand. You've built that brand in your business. You own that. You keep that. But you also have an opportunity to own a piece of EXP. Incredible, incredible opportunity. Uh, you build community. So you're going to be around a bunch of people, the highest level people that I've ever been around in the industry. Quite honestly, it's, it's incredible to me. Um, these are experts and they're very diverse. And they're all, they value collaboration. They value transparency. We're a very transparent company. We're publicly traded on NASDAQ. There's nothing to hide here. You want to know about it? It's right out there for the public. Uh, and we'd love to have fun. So this is real estate at the highest level and certainly at a fun level. Uh, be innovative. You know, again, uh, we're constantly looking to, to change. As the market changes, we change as a company. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Uh, we're always trying to do things to get to the next level. Uh, if you go to our join app, you will see that we just launched a whole new program called Boost. So if you're a, a brokerage or a team of at least 50 that does over $100 million in volume, we have something for you that you might want to look, look at. So uh, go to our page and check that out. But uh, that's a brand new program we just rolled out because we thought that we needed it. That's where the industry is going. And finally, find your freedom or fund your freedom. Uh, a very good friend of mine explained what financial freedom means to him. Uh, and that really struck home with me. He goes, you know what, Frank, financial freedom to me is I can go on vacation, go out to a dinner, go purchase something, and I don't have to ask my bank account for permission. I was like, wow. Uh, so that really struck home and made sense. So we have everything here for you. Um, I love it here. This is this is uh, it's the way of the future. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. Again, we're at 80, 88,000 strong and growing. So we hope to have you as part of our family now. I'm going to take these remaining two and a half, three minutes to answer any questions that you guys have put in the chat box.